Hi guys, I literally just got this package and I'm really excited because today we're going to be testing out the BH Cosmetics Color Festival palette. I wasn't originally going to get this, but I was on their site and I was wanting to get the brush set, so I did end up getting the brushes. I might make a separate video on these, let me know if you want to see that and then I will. But today we're just going to be focusing on the palette, but I saw this palette on the website even after seeing it on Trendmood and stuff and I don't know, it just kind of lured me in. Like at first I was like, I don't need that, I really don't need that, but then the more I kept looking at it, I don't know if it's the package that kind of drew me in, but I guess I just needed it. So now I have it, and now we're going to be testing it out. And I do have the first BH Festival palette as well, and I do really, really like that, which was kind of another reason why I decided to pick this up, because I feel like if they're going to be the same formula, this is going to be amazing. So it comes in a little sleeve like this, and obviously it also has one of those thingies inside of it, because every eyeshadow palette does. Now one thing I will say right off the bat that I noticed when I opened it earlier is that it gets very messy and it's kind of hard to clean off, but thankfully I'm not very OCD and I don't really care about things being super clean, so it's not really an issue, but if that's something that bothers you, uh, you're probably going to be kind of annoyed at this palette, but you know, like I said, I really don't care, so... I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this the way I always do it, so we're going to start off with the swatches and then we're going to get into doing an eye look with it and then I will let you know my thoughts and that's going to be it, so let's get into some swatches. I'm of course going to swatch this the way that I always do it and the only way that really makes sense, so we're going to be going from left to right, top to bottom. Um, hopefully I'll be able to fit all of these on my arm, if not, I guess we'll do it in two batches, but we're going to try. Alright, so first impression wise, you can see I had to wipe off my hands so I could make room for the second batch of colors, but I will say that most of these swatched beautifully, especially the shimmers, they were amazing. Some of the mattes I had to build up a little bit, especially this kind of neon lime green kind of shade, that one was a little bit iffy, but I mean, I really haven't had a shadow like that that swatched really good, so it's all going to just depend on how it applies on the eyes. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot, and then we will get into this. So I want to kind of talk about this palette just so you can get a sense of what this palette can really do and sort of break it down for you a little bit because I feel like a lot of people are going to look at this palette and be like, oh, it has so many nice pops of color, but when you really break it down and you first take a look at the mattes, and the mattes are usually what's going to steer you in which direction to go with crease-wise, and the crease is mostly what's going to be showing, at least for most people, especially for someone like myself who has hooded eyes, so the colors that I put in my crease are, to me, more important than the colors that I put on my lid, so if we just break down the mattes in this palette, you have kind of like the pinky ones here, and then you have three browns and a yellow. So those are really the only directions you can go in crease-wise. So even though there are some pops of blue in here, you can't really get a full blue look unless you do a all shimmer look, which I know a lot of people aren't really into. So I just wanted to kind of mention that because this, this is another one of those palettes, kind of like the Riviera palette, where you're kind of limited with the mattes, even though at first glance looking at the palette, it looks very colorful, but then when you break it down, it's really not that colorful, so what I'm going to try to do today is obviously use as many shades as possible and still make a cohesive look, but I don't really want to be using all of the browns because, you know, I, I don't really personally care that much about browns, so maybe I shouldn't have bought this palette and I knew that, but, you know, I want to use a lot of the uh, more colorful shadows, so I'm first going to take Haze and I'm actually going to put this in my inner corner to start off the look with, and I do like to put my inner corner down first if I'm using a matte, and I feel like this is... Definitely the best place to use this shadow. So I'm just going to be placing this down with my Morphe E36 brush now. And I do want this to be kind of blown out, so I'm going to be packing on a lot of this. And so far it's showing up pretty nicely. But I still do think that this is going to be the kind of shadow that you want to really pack on. And I don't think using it as a transition shade is really going to do a whole lot. But, you know, I could be wrong. And I am going to do a 3 looks one palette with this, and that will probably be up in... You know, a couple days, you guys know how I am. It'll probably be pretty quick, so just keep an eye out for that. And I mean, so far I'm pretty impressed with this color. That's showing up really nicely. So I might have to take back everything I just said. And I think for my crease, I'm going to go in with 
sequence, which is this beautiful kind of magenta shade. I think this is one of my favorite shades in this palette. This looks stunning. And this was also one of the shadows that swatched the best as far as I can remember. So I'm just going to be putting this all over my crease now from the outside to the inside and meeting it up with that first shade that we put down. So that actually applied beautifully, but one thing I want to just mention is I feel like it applied a lot lighter on my eye than it is in a pan. Because looking at this, I would have thought that the shadow would have been darker. And this is me like building up the shadow to about as much as, you know, I don't need to put more shadow on my eye. So just something to keep in mind that the shadow is not going to be as dark as maybe you would like for it to be. So next up, what I think I want to do is I think I want to take Rage, which this looks to be a duochrome. And it's kind of shifting like blue, black, green. I'm not even really sure, but this looks so pretty. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to basically put that all over my eye. So I'm going to make this into a smoky eye, but just with a colored crease. And I am going to spray my brush because I always do that. So like I said, I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid now. And that is so beautiful. Oof. I feel like the shadow would probably pop even more if you use glitter glue, but I don't really like using glitter glue, so we're just going to do it my way. So when I get to where my crease is, I'm taking like the fluffy side of this brush and I'm just going to start kind of dragging the shadow out and just up into my crease. And I feel like you could probably use any shade in this palette to do this with, with any of the mattes. So I would definitely be doing a lot of smoky eyes with this palette because I feel like it's kind of just meant for that, you know? Like that's what I see when I use this palette, you know? Some other palettes you might see and be like, oh my god, I want to do a cut crease or I want to do this or I want to do that. But when I look at this palette, I just want to do like smoky eyes. So I mean, this shimmer is blending into that matte so beautifully and I love that shimmer shade. That is so beautiful. Oh, it almost looks like a galaxy on my eyes. That is so cute. I really like this. So what do we want to do for the lower lash line? I know I said I wanted to use a lot of shadows, but I guess we're not going to be using that many because here we are. So I think I want to take... I thought about doing blue and I kind of still want to do the blue because there's a bit of a blue shift on the eye here. And the colors that I'm torn between are these two. I'm like, what would look better? I feel like they would both look better, but I feel like the blue would go more with the lid and this one would make more of a contrast. So let's do the green. I'm gonna use the blue in one of my other looks for sure because that blue is so beautiful, but I kinda wanna use the green. So the green in here is going to be electric, which is the one that's right next to the one I just used. And this is going to be a very simple look apparently. That's not what I planned when I sat down, but you know what? You just gotta do what the palette tells you to do. So this is what we're doing. So I'm just going to basically run this all the way across my lower lash line. And I'm also taking a bit more of this on a fluffier brush and I'm just going to kind of, I guess, blend this out. So for my waterline, I definitely need to use my uh, LA Girl Liner in the shade Fresh because I just feel like this is going to basically match because this green on my lower lash line looks to be a lot darker in the pan. Let me show you. So this is what this looks like in the pan and on my eyes, it definitely looks a little bit more on the kind of minty green side, but in the pan, I feel like it looks darker. I definitely feel like this eyeliner is going to go with it was where I was going with this. So I'm going to put this in my waterline and then I'm going to put on some mascara. Hang on one sec. And I'm also going to use my uh, Colourpop mascara. This is in the shade Kiss and Teal. So I'm going to put on these two and then I'm going to do some black twin liner and some mascara on top and I will be right back and we can kind of talk about this palette a little bit more. All right, so the eyes are done. I'm going to put on some uh, lipstick and I'm going to use Colourpop's Lippy Sticks in the shade New Rules. And this is just kind of a, I'm so bad at describing colors. I don't know, you can see what it is. It's like a berry shade, I'm gonna use this. So is this lipstick a bit much for this look? Probably, but we're just gonna keep it because I think it looks cute. So let's talk about this palette now for a little bit. Now I will say that 
Out of all of the shadows that I used, I was very impressed by the quality of the shadows. I wouldn't even say I'm surprised because I already know that I like the other festival palette and this seems to be the same formula, so I'm very excited to keep playing with this. Um, the only thing that I can really like complain about is the color story, but again, I mean, I bought this palette so I can't really complain about the color story, but if I could have done something differently, I would have put in a lot more darker mattes to go with some of these darker shimmers. And I also probably would have put in some more colorful mattes instead of some of these shimmers because some of the shimmers kind of look similar, like this one and this one, and these two kind of look similar. So I kind of want to swap those out with like a matte blue or something. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to do a video where I use this one in conjunction with the other festival palette. I think that could be kind of cool because the other festival palette has more colorful mattes. So I think these two will really complement each other, but before that, I, I am going to do a 3 looks 1 palette and in that video will also be my review. So if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you want to see more about this palette, that would be a good way to do so. So yeah, I think that is going to some of my first impression with this BH Cosmetics Festival. What is this called? Color Festival palette. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching as always. If you are new to my channel, like I said, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. I will see you in my next video.